Hi everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I am back with an unboxing of some more jewelry to share with you. Um, this box in front of us here is a lot that I picked up from eBay. Um, the seller very kindly packaged everything up in individual little baggies. So we're going to take a look through these together. Um, and first I do have two other items that I purchased online. This pin here or brooch rather um, came from Etsy and it was a pretty good deal. The seller just had it marked as a sterling silver brooch with an unidentified stone. So I recognized that it was probably Dragon's Breath. There was only two photos of the front and the back, um, but I kind of took a chance on it for the price. And yeah, I was happy to find when it arrived that it is Dragon's Breath. Love the native design of this brooch. So I'll be adding this to my Dragon's Breath glass collection. And then this I found on eBay. Uh, just another butterfly wing pendant. I love these. Um, this will be going into my collection as well. This is one of the more classic reverse painted um, tropical scenes with our palm trees and the little birds. So pretty and it is sterling. Um, the actual pendant is not marked but the clasp here is marked sterling. So yeah these are going into my collection. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, you know I've been picking up quite a bit of Dragon's Breath and Butterfly Wing pieces lately. When I find something I like, I start to kind of hunt for it everywhere and I tend to buy a few pieces at once. So that's kind of what's been happening with these. So next we're going to get into the eBay unboxing. And I purchased this lot because I thought there was a few interesting items. Not every single thing in here is something that I necessarily would have picked out, but I'm excited to go through it and maybe there'll be some surprises. Okay, so here is the first little baggie. And this was kind of a mixed lot. I definitely saw some vintage and some antique looking items, um, a little bit of everything. This is beautiful. So here we have a gold tone brooch with some gorgeous pink rhinestones. Here's what the back of that one looks like. Looks to be unmarked, but that's a beautiful one. That's probably something I would have picked up at a thrift store or something um, if it was priced well. It's really beautiful. And this is enamel over metal, the gold tone backing, kind of an abstract design there with our multicolor over white. And then here we have some cufflinks. Now these look like they could use a good cleanup, uh, but there is an interesting etching on the front. I don't I don't see any markings for these, so I, I'll have to test these to see if there's any sort of gold content, if they're gold filled, or they could just be brass with a little bit of gold overlay. Uh, but again, like these were items that I actually didn't even see in the listing photos, so just kind of an extra, I guess. Oh yes, yeah, so now these ones I did see in the listing photos, and these were one of the reasons I purchased the lot, because I thought that these would probably pay for um, a fair bit of it. So these are really beautiful enamel and crystal gold tone earrings. And they are actually Christian Dior, which you can see on the back there. So yeah, vintage green enamel rhinestone Christian Dior clip on earrings. And I know that there are a lot of Christian Dior collectors and uh, these tend to bring a good bit of money online. So I was happy to see these in that lot because they're not particularly my style. Um, but I might hang on to them for a little bit, and then if I decide to list them, I think that they would kind of make up for the price of this lot. So those are beautiful. Okay, and then here we have this really beautiful kind of spun silver filigree floral bracelet. Looks to have a gold wash on it. Oh, and it is marked here. And that says 800. So this is 800 silver, so a little bit less than sterling silver, but it was a silver, um, a type of silver that was used more regularly in the past. So 800 silver with a gold wash on it. That's nice. These look gorgeous. I love, I love the design of these. We have some silver intertwining leaves. Oh, and these are marked sterling as well. Gorgeous, and they have that older style hook back where they kind of slip into this bottom piece so they stay put. These are beautiful. I love these. These are definitely something that I would wear. Gorgeous. And here we have a really beautiful royal blue 
faceted teardrop stone. I feel like it kind of matches my nails today. Um, that's beautiful. Just looking to see if there's any markings on the pendant itself. I don't see any. Let's take a look at the clasp here. This definitely looks like sterling. Yeah, and so that little piece is marked 925. So I believe it's a sterling silver box chain with this gorgeous blue stone, which I'll have to test to see if it is some type of either sapphire, which I doubt it could be a lab created sapphire or a dark blue topaz. I think that's called a London blue topaz. Uh, so I'll have to do some research into that, but that's gorgeous. So I'm happy with all three of those items. A little bit of sterling. And then here we have a silver, kind of a twisted rope chain. It's got a very interesting clasp back here that I've actually never seen before. It looks like it is March. Oh, it says Cremence. So I have had that brand before. I know that's a vintage brand of jewelry. That is a really interesting clasp. So that kind of slips in and locks in place. Hmm, I've never seen that before. I mean, the chain is in beautiful condition. It's potentially silver plated. Really beautiful. Now this one looks gorgeous. Kind of see it through the baggie there. Have it backwards. So here we have a rhinestone drop necklace. Yeah, this, this is a beautiful necklace. So we have these emerald cut rhinestones, some marquee shapes, some round. And they all look to be in good condition. I don't see any dark or missing stones. And here's what the back of that looks like. So they've all got an open back setting. They're all prong set in the front. That looks marked as well. I, I thought this was going to be just costume based on the listing. That says 120th. Is that what that says? Does that say gold filled? I'm gonna take a look at it um, behind the camera here. It does. So this is marked as gold filled, which is interesting because it is a white metal. So I'm gonna have to do a little more research on this, um, but maybe it's just the chain that's gold filled. It does have one of these older style um, spring ring clasps where you kind of have to slip your finger in to open it up. So I do think it's a bit older. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna have to do some research on that. I love that though. And here we have a beautiful silver brooch with some rhinestones. We've got some marquee and some round shapes. And this one, I think it says sterling. Yes, so this one says VD Sterling, so that may be Vandell. I know that's a vintage jewelry brand that I've found a number of times. Um, so I'll have to do some research into that, but that's beautiful. The silver is super shiny, it may be rhodium plated. Um, beautiful. Oh, look at that creature, some sort of animal. I'm not quite sure what type of animal this is actually though. Interesting. Okay, and this back is marked, I think that says 900. It almost looks like it says Austria, which is not what I would have guessed for this uh, style of brooch. So let me, I'm gonna take my loop and look at this closer as well. I'm, I'm not quite sure. I, I can't make out the marking on the back of this. Um, if anybody watching can, uh, please let me know. But it looks to me like it says Austria on the top, which is confusing. <laughs> um, and it does look like maybe it's plated. I'm not quite sure. It's an interesting one though. I mean, I love this animal figure on the front. And we have this piece. It looks like it has an engraved F on the front. I believe it's a money clip is marked, I saw sterling at the back here. So you'll have to let me know if that's what this is, but this looks to me like a money clip. That's nice. I love the sort of leaf shape of it, almost like a thistle almost. That's pretty. Oh yes, I saw these in a lot as well. I thought these were stunning. Yeah, these are beautiful. Gorgeous. So here we have some costume earrings. These do have a really beautiful dragon's breath, most likely a faux dragon's breath, like a later version of dragon's breath. Stone, we've got some frosted marquee stones, some purple and green 
faceted pieces and they're all prong set. These are gorgeous. Yeah, they're not marked, but these are quality. These are beautiful. I love these. These were another reason that I purchased this lot. Ooh, oh, I love, this is very Art Nouveau, the shape of this brass piece there. And we have some gorgeous frosted glass beads and some blue crystal beads. And I love how the swirled this bottom one is. It almost looks like a seashell. That is beautiful. I did not realize these were in this lot either. She showed all the items, um, but they were all just kind of all laid out on one surface. So it was kind of hard to make out everything, but these are beautiful. I don't see any markings. And I believe that to just be a brass metal there. I love these. Gorgeous. Yeah, those are definitely earrings that I would have purchased had I seen them out and about um, at an antique store or something. Those are beautiful. Ooh, it looks like we have some Black Hills gold on this piece. And I, I think this is glass, some type of art glass. And it is marked sterling. How interesting. It's a really interesting combination of things going on with the two-tone gold. We have our sterling floral and then this glass piece meant to sort of simulate a type of stone, I think, but that's beautiful. That's a unique one. Yeah, this was another one that I loved in the listing. Another item that made me purchase it. Usually if I see, you know, more than just a few items that look good, uh, that's a good sign. Um, in a listing online. This is gorgeous. So here we have a carved cameo. She has this beautiful little necklace with, I'm going to assume that's a rhinestone, and some silver tone metal. I'm going to have to test this. I don't see any markings, but it almost looks too bright to be silver. Um, I have seen these in all different metals. I've seen them in white gold. I've seen the style in platinum. I've seen them in sterling. I've also seen them in just a base metal. So I'm going to have to test this. Um, this I think this is a, certainly a shell, though. That's gorgeous. It's a beautiful one. I love it. Okay, hey, this looks like we have a pair of earrings, some little drop earrings, and these look like agates, some little banded striped agates, or maybe carnelian. Um, and they are screwbacks. I don't see any markings on them, but these are cool. These definitely look, definitely look vintage to me. These are pretty. Okay, and then it looks like we have a stick pin that's interesting. I think this is also art glass, meant to sort of simulate turquoise, I think. That's very cool. This metal looks gold filled, maybe. This has a very interesting end cap. Um, usually they're just really simple, non-decorated end caps, at least in the pieces that I've found before. Oh, oh, that's interesting. So this actually, this piece pulls out and kind of locks it in. I've never seen that before. Looks like a dragon's egg or something. <laughs> That's what it makes me think of anyway. Ooh, this is beautiful. So this looks like molded glass and this beautiful multicolor green meant to imitate jade, I think. But we've got some really beautiful florals, this really pretty brass cap to it with our little bale. I actually love this. I've found a number of vintage kind of faux glass, faux jade glass that is made to look like jade pieces before. And some of them do have some nice value. Um, this one's beautiful. I need to find a good chain for this. That's nice. Oh, 
Okay, and then here we have what kind of looks like a safety pin, I suppose. But interestingly, it has this tiny piece of what looks like turquoise. And let me, it is bezel set around it like you would find in native turquoise pieces. Huh. Again, this doesn't appear to have any markings, but that could potentially be sterling. Um, I'm gonna have to test this as well. Kind of strange. I like it though. Okay, and then here we have a gold floral, very long necklace, 24K GB. So um, this is like a, a gold plated piece. That's pretty though. It's very lightweight. These really beautiful roses. It looks to be in great condition. There's really no wear to this piece. So we have two pieces here. So this is pretty. So we have some emerald cut and round faceted purple rhinestones or crystals. This is like a Maltese cross. I think that's what this type of cross is called. Oh, and it's reversible. This back has a little red stone on it. How interesting. I like both sides actually. That's beautiful, but this is beautiful as well. That's really pretty. Looks like it could be gold plated as well. And then we have a little heart necklace. Okay, so the chain just kind of slips through the sides. Has some little red stones in it. Probably glass, I'm going to guess. Yeah, the, the clasp is not marked, so I don't think it's gold or gold filled. But that's an interesting little pendant. I think this is reversible as well. The back side is just a plain heart. And then the front side, you have these really beautiful red garnet looking stones, but I think they're glass. We've got earrings in this bag. So this first pair, I see that they're marked. They say Marvella. Those are fun. So there's a kind of brushed textures, textured gold tone in the back. Kind of a fun modern shape to them. Nice, I see a little bit of verdigris, so these could probably stand to be cleaned a bit, but those are fun. Oh, we have a ring in here. Gold tone with this black stone. Might be glass. Oh, it does say something. Let me take a look. Okay, so yeah, on the band of this ring, it says Seta, S-E-T-A. So that must be a brand. I'm not familiar with it, but it does appear to just be gold tone with this black faux stone. It's pretty though. It's got a really nice vintage look to it. It's a larger size. It's a little too big for me, but that's pretty. And we have another little pin here. That's sweet. So we've got a little pearl at the center and this gold tone pin. Don't see any markings on it. Not sure if that is a real pearl or not. It's kind of an off shape, which makes me think it might actually be a genuine pearl. Um, Cause typically the faux ones are perfectly round with a perfect luster to them. So we'll have to look into that one a little further. Then we have these pink enameled leaf earrings. Oh, and these are coral. These ones are not in perfect condition. I feel like the pink has kind of yellowed a little bit. We have a little bit of chipping um, on this pair here, but they are coral, which I know people like to collect. We've got two more pairs. So we have another enameled pair, abstract shape, or maybe this is a symbol that I'm just not familiar with. That is possible. Also coro. So both of these enameled coro earrings here. And then, oh, I like these. These are probably my favorite out of that little baggie of earrings. We have some silver toned leaves and they're nice and dimensional the way they fold over. And coro as well. So we have three coro earrings. Always nice to get signed designer pieces. Okay, and then we have our last little baggie here. Okay, so first we have these 
really beautiful carved earrings. They look like coral. I'm not sure if they're genuine coral or if they're like a resin made to look like coral. They're just on a gold tone post. I don't think that's a precious metal, but those are really pretty. We'll have to look into those a little further. So here we have some really beautiful glass drop earrings. I like this molded glass in the center, the redstone, kind of a ribbed design. And some beautiful blue and gold glass up at the top, faceted. So it looks like maybe a faux pearl down at the bottom. Appear to just be gold tone hooks, but those are really pretty. I think the glass pieces look vintage and maybe they were um, put on and made into earrings. Not sure, but those are actually very pretty. And then finally, our last piece in this lot um, is this pair of earrings, which are also glass. They're this beautiful pink, fuchsia pink glass with rhinestones. And here's what that hook looks like. It's kind of an interesting shape. And I think these are just silver tone, but those are sweet. Nice, small size drop glass earrings. All right, so that was the lot. I'm really happy with these items. There were some pieces that I didn't actually expect to love so much. So I, I mean, these earrings, I um, these were not something that I had noticed in the listing. And I actually, this might be my favorite piece actually. These are gorgeous. They do look Art Nouveau to me um, or, you know, imitation. I'm not sure, I would have to do more research, but there's beautiful frosted glass beads. I love this center piece here. I mean, that is so beautiful. They're fabulous and then some really nice sterling pieces those are beautiful um, and i want to look into uh, this cameo a little more i'm going to test the metal on this because i'm not sure i'm not sure what this is made out of it's a little too bright to be silver um, in my opinion so we'll test this and see if that is something special either way it's beautiful um oh yeah and then these earrings stunning i love these so so much beautiful costume earrings gorgeous so yeah, this was a fabulous lot. Thank you so much for unboxing it with me. Uh, let me know if you had a favorite piece and I will be back soon with some more jewelry for you all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.